Hi, everyone. It is July 29th. It's a Thursday. Um, my name is Leila Metzi, and I'm a recent graduate of UCLA, where I double majored in sociology and communication studies. And today I have the pleasure of speaking with Derek McKenna. Um, he is a part of the CAA hockey team under Creative Artist Agency. That's what CAA stands for. Thank you, Derek, for joining me today. Appreciate you having me. Awesome. Um, and my first question for you is, are you able to provide a little bit of insight into what you do on a day to day? Yeah, you know, it's it's a um, it's a busy place. Every day is a little bit different. But uh, in short, what I'm responsible for is player marketing, management of the players servicing on a day to day level. Um, we also do a little bit in the analytics space for our guys. I do a little bit of social media and PR for them. Uh, and then I'm also working to architect business opportunities for them. So whether that's sort of in, you know traditional endorsement deals, whether we're looking at new categories for them, whether they're looking at some more entrepreneurial things, um, equity deals, joint ventures, things of that nature, um, I'm across all of that. So it's it's a pretty broad scope, but keeps it keeps it fun for sure. Do you mind tapping into I guess like. You said you started in like tech sales. You made that transition and like what skills transferred over? Yeah, I think, you know, so for me, I, uh, I, I pursued a very, you know, clear path out of school. Um, I went into college during the, the recession and wanted to come out with a very, you know, marketable skill set with a defined career path. And uh, I, I ended up sort of finding my way into the technology sector, more specifically the tech sales side of things with Cisco Systems. And, um, you know, everything about the job on paper was outstanding. Um, and it was a great job out of school, learned a lot. And what I ended up finding at, at a certain point a couple of years out was that it just wasn't something I was passionate about. And for me, that is, is such a big piece of who I am and, you know, what I want to be doing with my life day to day. Um, so I ended up making a change. I, I decided, hey, you know, if I could do anything in the world, what would it be? Um, and for me, hockey has always been core to who I am. So I needed to find some way to make it part of my career. I really like the business side of it. And so for me, I, I wanted to pursue being a, a sports agent and more specifically a hockey agent. Um, what that meant was, you know, completely transitioning and leaving that that first career um it was a little bit of a leap of faith ended up taking an interim job uh in ticket sales with the colorado avalanche to just really prove how bad i wanted to be in the sports industry um and then got you know some some traction with caa i ended up getting hired into a different department at first which was our global client strategy department working with you know the the top, um, you know, talent that the agency represents and helping their entrepreneurial ambitions. Uh, and that included starting up the sports practice within that department too, um, working with, you know, some pretty big stars across all major sports and uh, was fortunate enough um, that the hockey department was able to uh, make a spot for me and, and take some of what I was doing in the last department and now apply it to here. And so, uh, so that's that's how I got here, and it's it's been outstanding, um, and you know I'm I'm really glad that I was able to to make this transition work. But um, it, it it definitely you know tested a lot of things, right? Uh, it was it was kind of a, a perseverance story. Um, it still is, you know, we're still figuring things out. But just to be able to to continue grinding, continue sticking with it, there were so many no's and very few yeses, but. Um, you know, we, we got there and, you know, had, had some great people along the way to help me out for sure. That's a beautiful story. Um, I think perseverance is a really big thing that a lot of us struggle with, especially when we get told no a lot of the time. And I think that a lot of professionals have like told me too, that it's like harder to make a switch when you're further out in your career. <coughs> um, but I think that you can still do it if you stick with it. Um, and like if the front door gets closed on you, you can go through the back door and the side door and the window, you'll figure it out some way. Yeah, completely. Um, I mean, I, I think for me, I ended up making some new doors, um, you know, grabbing, grabbing a saw and cutting a new door. You know, that's just the way that it goes sometimes. There's, there's not always a door. Sometimes there's um, a window. Sometimes there's an air conditioning unit that you kick through, you know, just who knows. Um, 
So yeah, I, I think that's that's what it's all about. And for me, it was just a question of how bad did I want it, um, and and that's that's really all I wanted. So um, I think you know, motive. Everyone's motivation is is so big in terms of you know what do they really want to do? How bad do they want to do it? And um, you know, if, if it's something that you want more than anything else, you you just keep going, uh, and and it's going to happen sooner or later. That is literally my saying. I have something, a story very similar to that. Is like I wanted to work for the Clippers because I was a big fan. I was a huge Blake Griffin fan, but I was always too young. And once I turned 16, I like missed the internship date, and then I had to turn 18 to get an actual job. And through networking, like I somehow find my way into their game night staff team um, from UCLA into the Clippers. And I was like, how did that work out? But it goes. Also, like it talks about like networking and it's like being nice to people and let them know what you're passionate about, what you want to go into, and they'll help you. It's all just about relationship building and rather than it be like a business transaction. Um, so with that, I've learned plenty of lessons in my young 21 years, but curious to hear about any key lessons that you've learned from working in sports or even just like the agency lifestyle itself. Yeah, I, a, a whole lot, obviously. I mean, it was it was a big change up for me. So there was a, a big learning curve. But, you know, I think um, one of the things that is is inherently clear is that there's a lot of different roles to play uh, at these agencies. And, uh, you know, the top 1% of it really gets glamorized. You know, there's shows, right? You, whether it's, you know, Jerry Maguire as a movie, Entourage as a show, some of those things, um, it's, it's really easy to think of life at an agency like that. And in reality, you know, there's a lot of day in, day out, little tasks that need to get done to keep your clients happy um, and, you know, moving towards where they want to get to in their career. So I, I think for me, you know, a big thing, especially with the switch and starting over again, was this sense of, you know, any kind of ego absolutely has to be checked at the door. Um, there's no room for it, and it really is sort of a team aspect once you're in. It really is for the betterment of, you know, your client, and whether that's talent, whether that's a big property that you represent, whatever the case may be. Um, so that was certainly a, a big lesson for me. And then uh, I think, you know, just kind of adapting to the style and, and finding new and exciting ways. You know, this is not a business where – you can rest on your laurels. Um, you might know something, you might be the smartest person in the room. And at the same time, you know, if you're not continually moving the ball forward, finding innovative, you know, opportunities for your clients that are both, you know, within their realm and outside of it and having them expand, um, you know, that's, that's huge. Uh, and then I think just being incredibly honest and genuine and something that gets lost in this day and age in a lot of ways but um you know just just being totally open honest transparent with your client understanding exactly what they're looking to do um where they want to be where they are now and, and charting a course for that and everyone's different and i think that's you know that personal touch is is huge so that that lesson has been something where no no player for me is exactly the same. I approach every player differently. There will of course be similarities, but these these guys, um, you know, and, and girls for that matter, because in the hockey space, the, the, you know, girls side of the game is quickly growing, which we're really excited about. So, you know, they're they're all unique and uh, deserve to be treated as so. So that's, you know, I think the biggest thing is just understanding how to work with them. Yeah, you made a really good point about ego. Um... It's got to be checked out one sec. Need a cough to the base. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's just I, I can't say it enough. You know, everyone wants the big job. Everyone wants the thing that's going to land them in the uh, the trades. Um, you know, different publications online, whatever. Uh, the fact of the matter is, again, you'll get there over time, but. There's a lot of work to be done, um, and I think that's more than anything a lot of what folks here look for is, are you willing to jump in and help out? Are you willing to sort of get your hands dirty? And, you know, there's there's definitely that feeling of kind of working your way up. A lot of people have been at this for a long time, and uh, just understanding that it's not going to happen overnight, but if you 
commit to it and put in the work, um, you know, you'll you'll get to those those more kind of fun and interesting things. But uh, there's there's a lot of work to be done, you know, before that point too. So you know, we're like I said, I'm part of a great team, um, and between all of us, you know, we we make some pretty cool things happen. Yeah, and I think that you those are all great points. I think that the agency lifestyle gets it's viewed as like very sexy and attractive, but it's like no one knows what goes on behind the scenes. Like you just see the highlight reel. Like it's just like Instagram. Like you don't see people crying. You just see people on their boats and on their vacays and stuff. So that's like what life is. No one wants to show you like the bad parts and like the lows, but it's like the more that you bring it up with people and then touching on your genuine relationships and conversations that you have with people, um, open up, be, be a risk taker a little bit, like open up, share things that you wouldn't usually share with people. And like, you never know what can come out of that moving forward. I, I think that's exactly right. You're, you're going to be in a really unique spot if you're willing to put yourself out there a little bit and, you know, ultimately our, our clients are, are, they're all people, right? I mean, certainly they are talent celebrities of some shape or form and that's, that's great. And, you know, it's, it's exciting to work with them, but they're, they're all people. We're all people. Um, like you said, a lot of us have the same problems. A lot of us have the same, you know, thoughts, uh, you know, a lot of the similar things get us excited. And so it's, it, it, it's nice to be able to to sort of interact at that level. And once you do, I think those relationships just get deeper and deeper and you become more ingrained in their lives. And that's when you really start to hit on something. So, you know, that's, that's certainly a, a big aspect of the job. And you also don't need to be friends with everyone. Not everyone is going to like you. You're not going to like everyone. You, and you're not going to like everyone yourself. Um, so it's like, it's okay to be picky and it's like, you just want to stay neutral, don't burn bridges. There's like, even when like applying to jobs and interviewing, like, you may not like the hiring manager after you've done your interview. Send them that thank you note, wish them well and keep it in, keep them in your back pocket. You never know when you're going to need them. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I'm, I'm a, I'm a big believer in, yeah, for lack of a better word, karma, I guess. And, you know, sort of a, what goes around comes around kind of thing. And, so, you know, the basics are huge for me. I'm, I'm very kind of old school in my mentality of just treating people right and, um, you know, doing business with people that you like. And I, someone, someone once told me um, that told them in this business way before I even got started that, you know, um, you're going to you're going to win a lot. You're going to lose a lot. Hopefully you win more than you lose. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's, it's really all about how you treat people. Um, and that's, you know, business partners, clients, that's how you're going to be remembered. And so I, I definitely try and internalize that and, and work on that. It's all about how you make people feel at the end of the day. It's like, they're going to, they're not going to remember what you said, but they're going to remember how you made them feel. And it's like, they associate that with you forever. So right. first impressions also do matter a lot as well. Awesome. Um, my last question for you is what advice would you offer students and young professionals seeking a career in sports? I think you bring a really genuine perspective, especially from your switch. Um, you touched on it a little bit about being persistent and not taking no as an answer, but like also navigating. But if you have anything else to add to that as well. Yeah, I think, um, you know, obviously it's a, it's a really exciting field to be in. You know, I think there's a lot of people out there that would love to have sports in their career in some shape or form. Um, you know, a couple things on that. For me, um, you know, there's, I didn't realize until I was looking to make the switch just how many jobs are out there to be had in sports. And I think keeping an open mind and, and having a lot of different interests and being curious is something that's gonna serve you well. So, you know, there's the agency side, certainly, there's the team side, there's the league side, there's different, brand partners that are very involved in the sports world. Um, you know, there's a lot of different ways to go about this. And I think um, it can be a little bit daunting at times. And I think there are, of course, jobs that are a bit more coveted than others. You know, certainly if, if someone wants to work in hockey and they want to work for a team, for example, they want to be in, in hockey operations. They want to be part of the coaching staff, scouting staff, whatever that may be. Those are incredibly hard jobs to get. You know, there's only a handful of those jobs per team, and there's now 32 teams in the league. So, 
you know, I think the, the biggest thing, and, and I, someone gave me this advice, many people did in fact, um, and I thought it was terrible advice at the time, and now I'm gonna turn around and give it back uh, to the group here, but you know, just get started and just find a way in, because once you're in, it's actually a really small community, and you just, you keep going, you keep plugging away, and there's gonna be times when it doesn't work out for you, um, but at the same time, there's going to be a, a break. You know, if you're a really genuine person, you're putting it out into the universe that this is what you want to do, and you work harder than than anyone else out there. It's going to happen. Um, so you know, it's, it's it sounds a little bit cheesy, but it's completely true. Um, and at least it has been for me so far. And uh, you know, I think there's a lot of little things you can do in terms of you know networking was something that I worked on really, you know, incredibly more so than I did before when I was looking to make the switch. Um, you know, grabbing a couple of mentors and some people that can kind of champion your cause and whether that's, you know, what you're doing now and, and where you want to be, you know, every person out there that can, you know, help you in some shape or form is, is going to be huge. Um, and really just developing that network. I think it, it certainly is important for, you know, those people that are already established in the industry, you know, if you can get to some of those people and have them show you the ropes, that's great. Um, and that's incredibly valuable. But at the same time, I would encourage folks to really create a network of people that are sort of at their level. Um, and so that you all kind of rise together. And that way you have friends and colleagues that you can count on throughout your career when you're looking uh and whether it's just the next step in your career whether you're looking to make a move you have some folks that you know you you've been talking with and, and networking with you know for a long time um and then it can be kind of a two-way street where you help them they help you um and so there's there's a lot that goes into that but uh i think i think it's back to that question of of how bad do you want it and for the folks that want it more than anything to to be in sports in some shape or form it's going to work out it really is just about not what you know but who you know but more so who knows you um and it's like how do you make yourself recognizable and remembered by people when something does come up they think of you immediately uh, something that i'm working on and everyone is like it's all about brand marketing, make that portfolio, make that website, but also just like your in-person presence as well. Like even with Zoom, like what can you do to show that you're genuinely listening to them and you care about them? Take notes. If they said they have a kid or like their birthday's coming up or like whatever, like follow up with them afterwards and be like, how was the birthday? How was your trip? Um, so it's the small things that really do matter in the long run. And that was a big thing that we talked about, perseverance being dedicated to something, showing up when you need it, and just navigating how else can you get in, but also understand that people don't, no one's life career tra trajectory is straight. It's always a zigzag, um, but not everyone talks about it. Like on LinkedIn, like people leave out so many different points. Like there are some stops that I made that I don't want to talk about, um, but I don't put them on my LinkedIn, but they did help me get to where I am today. Yeah, I think all, all those experiences are valuable. My, my LinkedIn's an open book and uh, I have a lot of people to this day that they'll take a look at it and they'll say, what happened? I just can't figure out. <laughs> you know, I'm, I had plenty of people that reached out throughout this switch asking, you know, if, if I was, you know, okay mentally and if I was having sort of a, a breakdown coming from where I was to where I am now. And I told them, you know, hey, it's all part of a, a long-term play and really following my passion. So um, yeah, I, you know, I'm an open book. Um, it's it's definitely has, it's, it's been a zigzag course as much as you can get it. Well, you know what? You got to where you are today. You're happy and that's all that really matters. Sometimes it takes longer than others. We all have delays in our life. We have airplane delays, we have career delays. Um, somehow we get to it in the end. So I'm glad that you did and you seem very happy and I can't wait to see where you'll move on to next. No, I, I appreciate that. You know, thanks for carving out the time. This was fun. Um, and, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, we can get some more folks into the sports industry that, that really want to be there. Um, so, you know, it's, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you so much for your time, Derek. It was a pleasure speaking with you. You got it. Likewise, it was, it was great to chat. Take care uh, and uh, best of luck with everything. Thank you so much.